best friend dance. Best friend dance. Best friend dance. Best friend dance. Have you ever lied to me? Hmm. Yes. <laughs> Hi, darlings. Welcome to my channel. It is Kiki, and I'm here with one of my best friends, Aisha, who is visiting from New York. She's BX, actually, baby. <laughs> she's actually leaving tonight. So we're getting some videos in for you guys, and today we're gonna be talking about our friendship. We are. We're we're gonna ask several questions that are just random friendship questions that we found on the internet so exactly so we're each gonna ask each other five questions and maybe we might already know some i don't know should we try to answer maybe um for yeah. each other yeah oh my god yeah let's do that so let's get into it you can ask me first Ooh. which parent do you identify with most none so, of them oh so. With moles, so it has to be one or the other. Okay, which one do you think I identify most with? I actually think you probably, I and I don't know your dad well, but I think you probably identify more with your dad. Mm. So when I was younger, it was my dad because he has a crazy, crazy work ethic. But I would say in recent years, it has been my mom. I don't know, but I have a lot of things in common with my mom now. Yeah. Do you think it's because she's you've been living with her for so long? Could be. Could be. Because I both sing I in the mornings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fun fact, I hated my mom singing when I when I lived with her, I was like, Ma, shut up. It's so early, please. But we, fact, about we it. both do. <laughs> but we now I'm do. like, la 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 la. And Sean is like, mm. I'm sitting there sleeping you're, like, <laughs> you're just like your mom. And, and that I am, I am. I'm not even going to lie. Exactly. Only difference is she can sing and I can't. So I got some nerve talking about her. You know what I hate? I hate that I start to do my, my mom's little dances. Yeah. Like, like she does these little, like. You do up, turn into your parents, guys. Like, just a little do. bit. And I was like, I saw it. I was just like, hmm. <laughs> Don't dance like that. If you could change your first name, what would it be? Ooh. Let me see what you look like. Hmm? Charlene. Hmm? Carissa. Jada. Nova. Josephina. <laughs> <laughs> Josephina. If I could change my first name. I don't know that one actually. Um You know what? I would actually want to change my first name to my middle name. Yeah. Because on it. Anyway, so before the camera cut off, I had asked if you can rename yourself, what would you name yourself? So um, so I would actually, I was thinking about it. I would switch my first name and my middle name. So my first name be Ann. Because I really, I, yeah, I really like my middle name. Not only that, she was about to say on job applications. Ooh, they can't girl. tell that you're black. That's what it is. Ann, baby. Ann, right. And then I would use my mom's last name. Which, oh, Cooper, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, that's right, Ann mm -hmm. Cooper. <laughs> Ann Cooper. It's sad that we have to think about that, huh? So, my question. Well, wait. You should answer it. I would keep the same name. I've, I've thought about this for years. Growing Did up, you? I hated my name. I hated it. And, but I could never think about another name I would call myself. And I asked my mom, like, if you didn't name me my first name, she didn't even know what she would name me. And my name means thank God. So I feel like if I change my name, that's a slap in the face to God. So I'll just be Kenichi, you know? Okay. What is one thing you regret not having done or having done in your life? <sighs> I regret not having overcome fear, overcome fear of failure. But like an event that you haven't, that you have or have not done, that you regret. Yeah, a lot. I would say a lot of my years. That's but the just only, like one event. I don't have an event. All I could think about is all the opportunities I missed out because I was scared of not being good enough or scared of failing. Okay, that's all I could think of. I don't. I don't know. The next question. What's the name of your first crush? Oh gosh. <laughs> He was so cute and we used to hang out after school 
um, in middle middle school. Yeah, like my first year of middle school, I thought he was the most beautiful thing in the face of the earth. We would play video games at this like random spot that was across the street from our school and he would pay for it and I thought he was just like rich and whatever. I like as a middle schooler and he was just like super cool. So Gary. Cool. Yeah. Yours? My friend, do I want to say this? <laughs> okay, so I had crushes before him, but they didn't really count, you know? But this guy, my first like big crush, his name was And I had a crush. Guys, I'm just like a crazy loyal person. I had a crush on him from the age of five all the way until 12. <laughs> I bit my tongue too. I sure did. I sure <laughs> did. The next crush I have I had after that was high school in Trinidad. And I left that school after a year, so I stopped liking him. But after him, my next main crush was my very first boyfriend. And I liked him from 12. I was still 12. 12 until like 19. Wow. I never told anybody I still like we broke up and I never told anybody I still liked him, but I did. Oh, you know what? I like this one. What is under your bed? Fangs, honey. Some fangs. <laughs> That's all I'll say. Some fangs. I'm laughing because I was looking for her, her glasses. Because we recently, like, cannot find these things anywhere. And I think she lost her glasses maybe the first day I got here. Yeah. Because she was making fun of me. Mm hmm The whole time. So, um... That's karma. We've been looking for them ever since. I felt like she's probably gonna find them as soon as I leave. But, like, we've been looking for them. And at first, I, like, got down and I was like, oh, let me check under the bed. And she was like, no, don't look under there. And I was like... First of all, let me just say, I'm not the type of person that usually allows people in my bedroom because I just feel like it's a sacred space. It is. But, you know. Yeah, it's just like you got things, you know? You got things, honey. And I have I have some shades, a box of shades, I could tell you that. I have a box with like a, um, electronics, phones, and uh, chargers. Under your bed, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying, I got things under there, that's it. Okay, stuff, stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay. What's your favorite memory of me? I was gonna ask you like, what was your longest relationship? Because although we're best friends, I actually don't know that question. And we've known each other since 12. I was oh 12 my God. and you were younger. I was definitely younger. I was probably like 11. Oh, well, I was definitely 11 if you were 12. Yeah. Um, That's weird. So the question you were going to ask me was, what was the thing I said first? The first one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what's your favorite memory of me? That was it. That was it. Okay, favorite memory. So there's a photo. Whenever I think of Kanichi, I think of this one photo. I've never heard of this, so. <laughs> there's one photo, and it's like, and it's a perfect depiction of who we are. Like, who we are to each other. So, like, Kanichi is, like, politely holding a glass of, like, wine and just, like, posing. <laughs> and then me is, like, in the back <laughs> with a bottle just, like, and I, the bottle's also closed. Like her mom is standing right there. Like it was. Taking it wasn't even. It wasn't even like I don't. It, we weren't even actually drinking. drinking no, it was, it was a, a closed bottle. It was so. But it was just like so funny because it just kind of clearly depicts our like our personalities yeah. and our like that one. So I would say it was probably. I think was it this night where it was New Year's Eve. So for New Year's back in the day. Can you choose to live in New York? Yeah. Um, we would get really dressed up and go out and, you know, go to parties or whatever. So this New Year's, you know, wearing our little dresses, trying to get pneumonia, you know, hypothermia. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> and we look at Matt Cute and we go to this party. And this party is in the project. So it's supposed yep. to be a really good party. First of all, let's set the scene, okay? I turned down other things to do because somebody else, I, you know what? All your friends were going, that's why. All of my friends were going and it was supposed to be this like big party. It's so to I put on my nice, shiny, expensive dress. We were dressed. I had Heels. makeup on. Mm -hmm. You know I don't ever have makeup on. Well, they don't know that. They were oh, just I don't, you, but sorry. she doesn't wear makeup. Oh. So it was yeah. in the projects. 
And so it was supposed to be this great party. So we're all dolled up, heels and all, mini skirts, I'll insert hypothermia. I'll here somewhere. Hypothermia. So we go there. And, you know, we see it's such a whack party. And we're just, like, tight. And we, like, meet. We spend the most, the majority of the time in the hallway. And we were having a fun time. We were lit in the hallway. We were like, yay, taking pictures, clowning around. Because I'm and sorry. I don't do, like, this is going to sound bad. I don't care if y'all judge me. Like, sorry, hood, hood, hood house parties where it's hot. You can't see anything. I always end up wanting to slap somebody's boy it child. Even, and I don't have time. It wasn't even, like, a hood house party like that. It was. It was, it was just... No, because it wasn't, there was no music playing. Like, the music that was playing was, the music that was playing was low. We ended up playing music on our phones outside in the hallway. That's why it was lit. No, they had loud music inside. No. You don't remember correctly. He mm-hmm. had, he had someone that was DJing. Did he? Yeah. I remember it being really whack. It was really, really bad. I, it was just, and it was like, just, nobody was dressed up. Everybody had, like, regular clothes. Were the only people, like, dressed up. It was so whack. And then a fight breaks out inside, outside. And so the police are about to come into the building. So we have to run all the way into the back. And we have to go into the, like, a whole closet and hide and sit quietly. And so they turn off all the music and they start packing things See, up. See, now you remember it was music. See, it turned off the music because the oh. cops were coming. It was, it was just, like, such story. a fun, like, it was so funny because Mind what you, happened. I almost got into a fight that night. I didn't even know. Okay, somebody that I used to date was screaming at me. I was standing with my best friend, standing with her, minding my business. I cut this person off because this person lied, okay? And I didn't say two words to them. I'm standing, talking to my best friend, and I just, you know, I'm on my phone like this, guys. And I see, like, movement, and I hear hand clapping, but I'm minding my business. I'm like, all right, it's just, you know, these, these. And, like, literally, she doesn't realize that she's the one being yelled at. Exactly. <laughs> you know, the music was still going at the time. I'm like, whatever, you know, another fight. I mind my business. And then I just see, like, the shadow and the clapping getting closer and closer. So I look up, and I, all I see is him do this. <laughs> 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 But I'm not hearing anything, right? <laughs> so I'm like, huh? I'm like, yo, he talking to me? I'm like asking them, he talking to me? Yo, it was so funny. And I bust out laughing, and that might have aggravated the person even more, but it was just yes. funny because the whole time he was talking, I had no clue he was talking and to me. And everybody just thought she was ignoring them, and I was like, does she even hear him? No, I really, so, so I have this thing where if I'm mad at you, like, I was shut down completely. I don't speak to you, and that, that's for everybody. Like, I'm not the type, I'm not going to raise my voice, I'm not going to do anything with people that I care about. About it, that I actually care about. Now, if I don't know you like that, you're gonna get cussed the hell out. But if I care about you, I respect you, I just rather not say anything and stay in my own little bubble, mm-hmm. right? So with him, yeah, he turned out to be a jerk face, but I'm like, I'm not even gonna disrespect him. I'm just, I just don't got nothing to say to him. That's it. It's so funny. I was dating somebody else, minding my business. So-, so he was pressing all of my male friends, like, I know it was you who told that said that. I know it was you who told that. And they're just looking at me like, yo, you better put him on a leash. I'm like, that ain't me, buddy. That was almost a fight, and I was confused because I'm like. And it was just like, it was so funny to me. And it was also like one of the first. That night, it was the first time you met another one of my ex. It was just the night of the crazy ex. And it was also like, it was one of the first times I had been able to like go out, go out. That's true. For a significant amount of time. That's true. And I was had a curfew back then. It was. Like, I I was able to break curfew. Mind you, I'm so old, okay? I was like in my 20s. There was a bottle of Pinnacle. Never well, we can't tell again. the whole story because it's not again. story time. Because I poured the whole bottle. Like, Guys, I'm, I'm cutting her into off. It, this video is I'm not a story mastered. time. Okay, and it was fun. Okay. Oh wait, we gotta yeah, Next we gotta question. ask more questions. Exactly. <laughs> she Sorry. got she went over the tangent. It was tangent. so funny. Uh, it was such a fun night. That all right, so that's memory. your favorite memory. Okay. Can I say my favorite memory? My favorite memory of her. Lord. I love my friend, mm-hmm. but I don't know where the hell she picked up this guy from. Okay? Oh no, no! I don't know where she picked up this guy from. I remember her telling me that she had a boyfriend. I'm like, you have a boyfriend? She just met him. He was like, oh yeah, I love you. Look at him. 
doesn't even want to talk about She was like, oh, yeah, he says I love you, and he's just so nice. I'm like... But it was also like, I was kind of, I was like, why does he keep saying I love you? Like, I don't. But you would say that back to him, so don't even. But I was like, I'm going to lie to you because I don't want to hurt your feelings. No, but I was like, he's crazy. That is not normal. She's like, no, he's really nice and whatever, whatever, whatever. And back then, you know, we were childish. She had put me on three-way at one point to hear him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I was just like, something just doesn't seem right. I don't know. For me, I don't have those spider senses, senses. But for other people, I'm just like, no, girl, he's not the one. I, I can feel it in my bones that he's not the one. <laughs> but okay, so what happened was they went out. I thought this wasn't story time. And I was like, no, I should give him another chance. She was so like, I don't know, aww, my little innocent little <laughs> thank you over here. Oh. All right, let's do one more right. question because we talked and talked and talked okay. about life away. Ooh, I would ask you what's the best book you've ever read, but I think it's one of the Harry Potter. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> definitely is Harry Potter. Love Harry Potter. Ooh, what is your most embarrassing childhood memory? I have a lot of traumatic childhood memories, okay? The first one that came to mind is this scar right here. So, I was loud when I was back in Trinidad. Like, very outgoing, very boisterous. People hated me, basically. So, some, some of them hated me just because they thought I was ugly. I didn't do anything to them. They just thought I was ugly, so they hated me. But anyway, so I had these guys that used to like my friends, right? And he was the uncle of another one of my classmates. And I was running because I used to run around with the boys and climb trees. I was a little tomboy at the time, too. And I was running, and I fell. And I it was like a gravel school ground area where we would play for recess and stuff and i would never cry but <laughs> it hurt so much. i just like skid and the tiniest bit of skin but i have really bad skin so this turned into a nasty scar that lasted forever i got this when i was 11 and it's still there so it was the littlest bit of skin that came off and he just looked at me and he was like ah! <laughs> And then the laugh wasn't it, right? He was like, it good. And in Trinidad, that means, yeah, you, you deserve that. That's why that happened. And I, was, I just got up. I wanted to cry, but I didn't. And I was like, call your mother so and so. And walked off. But yeah, that was humiliating. Aww. What makes you feel afraid? So I'm around a lot of people who are like, super high IQs and like really sharp um, and just like sit around and read books every day. Um, I'm always afraid that I'm gonna say something stupid or come off as um, unintelligent um, or insecure. So I like, those are one of my fears, like actually speaking to people who, um, who I think are really intelligent mm -hmm. and who I think might perceive me as being unintelligent or which is uh, which now that i say it's kind of stupid but i was like it's it's, it's my her, it's her thing yeah that's what i'm saying that's what i'm yeah. saying about not being good enough earlier it's a yeah fear. it's just like it's a and that fear it gives controls me anxiety. your life but yeah exactly especially like one of the people i've i've met and i just think they're so she's super amazing and just incredibly intelligent and i'm just like I feel like sometimes when I speak, I'm like, yeah, this sounds a little stupid. Or like, I think that they're not going to think I'm smart. Mm -hmm. just, yeah. Why do humans care so much about what the other thinks? Why do we care so much? I wish we, that's I one know. thing I could change if I would. Like, I just want to get to the point where I just give a f about what I think and nobody else. On some Cardi B. But she cares what people think. Though. She does. I just want to just worry about myself and making me happy and hopefully one day I'll get to that point. I'm not quite there yet. Okay, I'm going to ask you rapid fire questions. When I tell you something, you have to think about the first thing that comes okay. to your mind about that experience. Okay? okay, I like this game. All right, high school. Your th game. Okay. High school. Kids. Uh, no. <laughs> this is so bad. Um, high school. Uh, no sleep. No sleep. <laughs> no sleep. Your first job. Terrible. 
<laughs> Fuck. Actually, my very first job was really no, it's terrible. It's terrible. <laughs> Good money for a kid, but terrible. Okay, okay, uh, mom. Oh, stop that! Stop that! Um, you're a mom, just to clarify. <laughs> oh, she stuck. One eternity later. <laughs> Moving on, because she can't see. Beautiful, beautiful. loving. <laughs> I, I'm also like, I'm stuck because I'm like. No, Ooh. don't try to explain it. <laughs> okay, next question. Next question. California. Breathtaking. Okay. Relaxing. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Plain. Anxiety. <laughs> All right, my turn. Um, hot or cold? Hot. Um, peanut butter or jelly? Ooh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> jelly. Uh, Puerto Rico or Dominican Republic? I don't know. I've never been. Okay. Um, gold or silver? Silver. College. Ooh, stress. <laughs> Iowa. Love. Social media. Fake. Forever 21. Cheap. <laughs> What's the most expensive thing you've ever bought? In life? Or clothes? Or like no, what? In, in life. I would say a trip. Uh, like physical thing. So Kanichi is also very, very cost efficient. Okay, cheap. Yeah. So like for us to ask her, like most expensive, it's like okay. Oh, so most expensive clothing item? We get to clothing. It would be, I think. Have I ever spent more than a hundred dollars on one thing? I don't think so. You know. I didn't even spend up more than a hundred dollars on my prom dress. I mean, I'm thinking about the TVs I had and the computers and stuff. Oh yeah. Those are all things that were bored for me. <laughs> right? <laughs> Biggest pet peeve of me staying here. Messiness. Mm, no, I, I don't even think it's messiness. Um, hmm. Okay, may, maybe the messiness. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, guys. I'm a little crazy. Oh, the towel. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, I, but, but, but. I'm actually very sorry, because no, I no. know, because the thing is, I know how anal she is, and then, so after she told me about it, I was just like, but listen, this is why I'm proud of myself, right? Because when I noticed, I was like, wait, did she get a new towel? Because I didn't even know you knew where the towel was. So I think that's what it is. Like, oh, she just found it. She didn't even ask it, because I thought if you needed a new one, you would have just asked, and I would be able to say, oh, here, you can have this one or whatever. Yeah. So when I saw it, I was like, did I, I take I this out? Did I? <laughs> so I was I like, I was oh, okay. <laughs> you know, but I didn't I didn't say anything. I was just like, Kenichi, it's not a big deal. You're being weird. Normal people don't act like this. You cannot let your OCD make people feel uncomfortable. I didn't want you to feel uncomfortable or unwelcomed or anything like that. Like that's the last thing I'd want to do to her. So I didn't say anything. Right, what were you trying to do? How did it come up? You were asking for a new one. Oh yeah, to go to the movie. <laughs> she was asking for a new one and then I was like, okay, my anxiety, I, I can't hold so back anymore. I, I gotta say it so again. I had one that I was using to like bathe with and the other one had gotten soaked when I went to the hot tub because I was going every day. And then I need, so I was like, oh, I had dried that one, yeah. but I had the second one that she didn't like provide for me. Yeah, so yeah. I was like, oh, let me get that one. And usually it was like, wait, hold on. We don't share we towels. Don't share towels. towels. <laughs> you gotta understand if people wipe their ass. <laughs> and I was just like. And it's not just me, guys. My family is weird like that, too. Like, my dad has new towels, like new, unused towels for people that come over. And my mom, the same thing. Well, she's the one who got the idea of wiping ass in, in my head. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm just. I mean, I'm just wiping butt. Like Wiping butt. Uh, wipe, wiping your butt. Wiping yeah. butt. Yeah. So sorry. I know it's weird, but that's, I have a lot of weird quirks about me. And you know, my friends and my family, they still love me anyway. Thank you, Jesus, for that.
And it was probably um, the funniest part about this trip was like when me and her were like, would know we were annoying each other and would just like operate accordingly. Which one of my quirks annoys you the most? Cause I have a lot. <laughs> so it's probably the same that annoys you about your mom, which is like the singing in the morning. Cause I'm just tired. What did I, I sing here in the morning a lot? Just a little bit. And I, I don't remember that. Cause I'm not even in the morning. It's me. just like, like kind of just like singing when I'm like kind of trying to go back to bed. Cause I, this but is what happens. The same thing. I would you wake know that, right? Do I really? You sing a lot. Oh, I sing all the time. But I. She, but okay, so I will sing in my house. She sings in the Ubers, inconveniencing everybody else. Rescue me! Exactly. The 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 oh. ride is quiet, Everywhere. and she's like loud. So it's like I don't uh -uh. feel bad about that because you can't judge me because you do worse. I know, I know, I know. But that's probably. I think I was like it was one time where I was trying to sleep and I heard you singing. I was just like, <laughs> just like. Have you ever lied to me? Hmm. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. She was like, yes, I definitely have. <laughs> I definitely have. <laughs> the fact that you, you didn't hesitate though is just like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Kenichi's also one of those people who stole one of my shoes to make sure that I came out. Like I have lied way too many times. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've lied. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I wasn't even thinking along those lines, but yeah, those count too. Yeah, yeah. Saying she's gonna come out when she knows damn well she's not gonna come out. Yeah. Saying I'm in an Uber when I'm not. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was actually in the Uber today though. Oh, I didn't believe you were. That's what I was like. Oh, my phone was dying, so I was like, I can't talk to nobody. I wanna take pictures. I believed you at first, but when you said, Oh, I'm sorry, my phone is out, I was like Because and my phone doesn't it. charge well in a car. And so it kept going on and off, and I was like, yo, I'm oh, trying to take pictures oh. of this beautiful but I wasn't, sunset. But I wasn't mad, though, because I'm like, she's on vacation. She wants to see. I just wish she would tell, just tell me, like, it's okay. Go get your soup. And oh, I'm no. Okay. Once you said you were hungry, I was like, God, Kanichi is hungry. No, I, I, I wouldn't have been mad, though. I know, I just, but I, I wanted just, to yeah. go out. That's yeah, why. Yeah, I just would have been, I would have understood. I just wanted to know, like, should I wait for her to come back or should I just go? Yeah, no, back? I looked and I I also didn't realize how late it had gotten. I figured, but I wanted I you to like, have fun, though. Yeah, and I was like, wow, I didn't think this was going to take two hours. Get, get crazy. Get crazy. It's, I'm hot. <laughs> so I kind of spilled pomegranate on me in one of the outtakes, so um, <laughs> I have to button up my jacket. It's probably going to stain. I'm tight. I'm really actually tight. <laughs>